Hey, what's going on guys? James here with Sporvolt, and today we are going over home cultivation, specifically the all-in-one bag. Now, this is a great option because you only need a controlled environment to maintain humidity and some patience. That being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, what I have in front of me is a monotub, some membrane filters to go on each of the holes on the monotub. I have my spore sample here, some alcohol to clean off my uh, work area, and my all-in-one bag. I also have a torch because I will be reusing this spore sample. You only need a torch if you are reusing the same needle. That being said, let's go ahead and jump in. <clears throat> all right now that i have heat treated the tip of the needle i am going to kind of cool it down with the alcohol wipe and then i am going to inject first shake it up very thoroughly break up um the spore samples you'll see clumps of black uh, unless you're going with the live culture it'll look a little bit different and the results will be a little bit faster um, but you're going to want to shake it up very thoroughly and then I like to go about three quarters of the way in at about a 45 degree angle. So 90 degrees right here, 45 is about the middle of that. As I said, I like to go about three quarters of the way in right about there. And then I'm going to finish off what I have in my needle. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. Now with the injection port, you do not need to do anything else. You do not need to tape it, anything like that. You can as an extra precaution for sure, um, but you know, teach their own. Definitely be sure that the, uh, the filter isn't vacuum tight against the back of the seal as oxygen won't be able to get in and then uh, mycelium won't be able to begin growing. So just make sure that that is allowing air in and then in roughly two to three weeks um, this is the results you should have where i would call this about a little more than 30 percent colonized um, and what you're going to want to do is just break it up to kind of speed up the process uh, so this was inoculated february 26th date of recording i believe uh, today is march 16th so it's been roughly 20 days um and yeah you'll just want to break it up mix it very thoroughly All right, now that I have it thoroughly mixed together, what I'm going to do is give it another week to two weeks to fully colonize. Once it is fully colonized, I'm going to make two incisions. So I'm going to cut both ends of the bag, uh, allowing more airflow into it. I like to cut roughly one to two inches above the top of the substrate. At, at this point, um, within a week, you'll start to see pinning and mushrooms starting to form. 
you'll want to cut the bag either all the way back or just cut it completely off and then um yeah just wait to harvest be sure to check out Spore Vault Co. for all of your mycology equipment, including uh, liquid cultures, spore samples, pasteurized substrates, scientific equipment, as well as awesome merchandise. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to stay on top of the mycology evolution. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful time.